friend. Today we are going to do a walkthrough of the general classical preschool level two. I wanted you to be able to see everything that is included in this program and the books that you would need and kind of give you a brief summary of each thing because I know sometimes I prefer a video rather than having to read everything. So this is the bundle all spread out all over my bed. I promise it's not as overwhelming as it seems because the guide does walk you through each piece step by step. So to begin with, this is the guide. It is a free PDF download and will be available starting July 25th, but you can already purchase the print version on Amazon as well. You just search Gentle Classical Preschool um, and get the one that has a butterfly. It's level two. This is, even though it's named preschool, it is a K-4 and kindergarten program. So preschool is meaning it's before the first grade. So this is definitely a kindergarten appropriate um, program. And it has several parts. It is a very heavily language arts driven program with um, math memorization as well, a lot of Bible um, work and worldview preparation, as well as a lot of music and art. So it is very, very much a liberal arts program. And it is very complementary to general classical nature as well. They, are, they have been written to be used simultaneously, though they do not have to be used simultaneously. So let's get to the bundle. So whenever you purchase a bundle of products um, from me, it means I have taken everything that is good for the one level and I've put it into one package in order to save you money. And the bundles are generally about 60 to 65% off the individual items. So what is included in this bundle is first the kindergarten morning binder. There is already a preschool morning binder out. The preschool morning binder will be included in this package as well. So if you're getting this for your four-year-old and your five-year-old and your six-year-old, you may want both the preschool and the kindergarten. So I'm including both of them in the bundle. And so the kindergarten morning binder takes the same um, basic calendar portion of the preschool morning binder. It's been updated a little bit and I've added new year options and it goes all the way up to age nine. And these lines are a little bit smaller, so you could do their first and last or first, middle, and last name as well. And then it has a lot of phonics work, um, letter, handwriting practice. So this would definitely count as a handwriting program as well. It includes cursive, if I can get to it. There it is, the cursive as well. And then some basic math, um, beginning on the, on the kindergarten level as well as the handwriting of numbers. So the kindergarten morning binder is a great addition to the program. And then, of course, memory statement cards. And if you look through my profile or any of my IGTV videos, you will see I have a memory work board. And these cards are created to go on that board. So we have Wonder and uh, Wonder Tales, which are just our fictional stories that we're reading, and poetry on one card. And then we have nursery rhymes on another. So I tried to do an image with each of the nursery rhymes that fit. And then we have character and catechism on one card. And we do one character, term, uh, character trait per term. And then we work on a catechism for a couple of weeks. And then we do scripture for a few weeks at a time. And then this is the Bible story that we are reading. And this is the story from the book, The Ology, that we are reading as well. And this is all outlined in the guide, but this is a convenient way to have it up on your board so you can access it, just kind of glance up and see it. Math memorization. We have skip counting that we're doing this year. We're covering um, some bases and reviewing some of the stuff from level one, but then quickly moving on to more advanced work, especially in the second term. Manners and Hygiene. This correlates to the book Everyday Graces. And I even included the page number here. So we have a statement each week. And then we have a sweet little story or poem that we will read that aligns with that statement. So most, most of these are just about respect and orderly and neatness and general, just kind of general life skills that, you know, we just sometimes 
need to have a refresher on. And then art and music. These are the memory statement cards for art and music. So one week we have our artist with an art element. And the next week we have our composer with a musical instrument element. And so in the program, we're going to be covering all of the musical uh, instrument families of the orchestra. First term is Vermeer and Bach. And then um, we'll go from there. The first term of the program is what I have on the memory statement cards at this moment. Um, but the entire program is ready. So I'm just getting the last of the memory statement cards finalized. The next part of the program is it is a very heavy art and music as well because in the early years they we need stories and we need art and we need music and we need experiences so the book gives you an outline of what is being done in art and music along with optional read alouds and the supplies that you need and then this pack for the art units gives you again the materials and also writes out instructions for what you will be doing in that unit there are also posters to help teach the different art elements. And then there are prints of each of our artists' um, works that we are studying. And then also materials to help implement our study as well. So those, all that comes into use in the program. And then there's three-part cards of the artist's work and the different instruments, as well as the art elements and some different three-dimensional shapes. And those are useful for games as well. And that is all outlined in the art and the music pack. The last portion of the program is that we do narration for children before the age of six. Rather than just expecting them to do an oral narration, we give them the tools where they have the ability to act out in order to tell us the story that we've been reading to them. And we can also use these to act out the story to them in order to teach them what it looks like to listen to a story, understand what happened in it, and then tell it back. And so this is the very, very basic foundational building blocks of oral and then later written narration in a Charlotte Mason education. And so I have taken each of the books, each of the stories that we are reading, and I have created these storyboards. And there's like, there's several more. I like, I have a cramp from cutting these out. <laughs> so this is The Boy Who Went to the North Wind, one of the scenes from that. This is, of course, The Three Little Pigs. This is um, Little Red Riding Hood, and my boys played with it without it being laminated. So just definitely laminate it because it can kind of get like messed up. If not, I'm going to have to reprint this forest background. And then um, the Little Red Hen is the other one that I have cut out already. So we can see she's got everything up there that she needs for making her bread that she's not going to share with the lazy dog and cat and duck. So um, those are the storyboards and the storyboard booklet does include, you know, pictures and instructions for how to use that. And then it is kind of intensive initially. You're going to want to sit set aside some time to cut it out. Um, don't be crazy about it. You know, he's got this border. Your three-year-old or four-year-old, your five-year-old, they don't care if it has a border around it. And so just kind of get the gist of it. And um, I've now found out that I can probably laminate and then cut it on my laminator. I just wasn't doing it right. So laminate and then cut. And then the last thing that's included in the bundle are three sets of flashcards. And so each set has 150 cards because each letter has multiple options. So we see apricot, axe, alligator, apple, anchor. So there are short vowel and long vowel sounds. Um, there are some that have like a soft G, for example, and a hard sound as well. So you get multiple options on that. And then after you go through the alphabet at the back, you have blends and digraphs. So these, these co correlate with All About Readings, pre-reading, pre level one and level two. So if you're using that program, these cards would work with it. And it also comes with the first 92 Dolch sight words as well, which they don't have a picture, they're just the word. And then briefly, because I just have a few seconds left, these are some of the books, but the books are listed in the program as well. So I hope it looks good.